crack of dawn. I'm Dawn Lombardi, and I'm so excited to be back. We did one episode last night, and we're going to try to do, or last time, we're going to try to do two uh, today. I have my special guest, Christine Pettit. Oh, I had to gallop on the makeup for this one because, woo, uh, yeah. So we're going to um, we're gonna talk, and we're going to paint. And what we're going to paint today is we're going to paint silhouettes. Um, Christine went to BU. And I went there. I didn't even know that, right? You went there? I forgot about that. I can't right, even yes. believe it. Yes. Yes. And she lives in Charmington, like me. Isn't it crazy? It's so nice here. Right? Yeah. Isn't it? It's pretty. So what years were you at BU? D clearly not the same I as went I back after I graduated college for a photography certificate. You did? Yeah, so I was not undergrad there, but I went for, to their um, cert, uh, Center for Digital Imaging. Was it at the College of Fine Arts? Yes. 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 That's so cool. I love yeah. that. And uh, you know what? The photography has everything to do with uh, art a lot. Um, what we're doing today is I use an opaque projector, uh, much like uh, Andy Warhol. Everybody thinks, oh, he drew the Campbell soup can, and you know what? No, he didn't. He traced it, just like John Vermeer and a lot of artists from the old times did. So it's a tracing machine. It's easy. And at my school at Jamoki, I just use a smart board. Ever used a smart board before? No, but they look great. It's so easy. So you just Google. They're super high tech. Yeah, wicked high tech. Yeah. And then you just Google what you want. So um, today, we are doing Black History Month, because that's what I'm doing at school. And we're trying to think of people uh, you know, that have made a difference in the world, um, uh, African-American, black, um, Jamaican, Islanders, uh, anything. And so we're thinking of people. And as we're going along, the kids are like, oh, he got into trouble. And I'm like, well, you know what? If a cameraman followed me around or paparazzi, mm, might not look so good either. Yeah, so, famous, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, somebody's got something somewhere. Somebody, you've... nobody's perfect. So um, I'm doing, I traced mine, and we both did ours. I'm doing Little Nas X. I'm gonna take my horse to the Old Town Road. <laughs> and as they say in Jamoki, I'm gonna take my book to the library and I'm gonna read till I read no more. So I remember that, kids. And show yours. Christine's doing Michael Jackson. Obviously. Who doesn't like Michael Jackson? So when you trace your picture first, you just have to figure out what you're gonna leave white, what you're gonna leave black. Now, even though these are black people, um, the negative space is going to be the white. Now, could you do this, this with like blue, red, green? Yeah. So it's more like a one color painting than just even, or is it black and white? Is yeah. that why? Because it's a silhouette or Good point. you use any thing, color? Yeah. And another thing you could do is you could use like, uh, you could use, um, what do they call them? Um, um, like red and green or blue and orange. Colors. Complimentary colors. She got it. Right. Complimentary instead, colors. Right. Blue to yellow instead of black to white or whatever. Yeah. So it's more negative positive than actual black and yeah. white. You just wouldn't want to mix in like three or four colors. Michael Jackson did sing the song black. Or oh white. yeah. I remember that so one. So basically he, he had all the supermodels. So this is the perfect color scheme for him. Yeah. And I, I forgot to do the supermodels because he did all the supermodels in oh. that one. Well, most of them. Well, okay. So we're going to paint along. We're going to chat, get to know Christine a little bit. And, um, you know, just chat about Connecticut, what we did for the holidays, that kind of thing. And um, we're going to fill in the negative space is going to be the white. So even though Little Nas X is a black man, I'm leaving his skin white because if I leave his hat white, it's not going to look good. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We're going to fill in the shapes, and it's a lot of fun. We're going to try to do two episodes, but we're pretty fast. So if we go fast, then... It's going to be one. Hey, nobody's called me fast in decades. Ah, so we're going to go. So we're going to paint, and Joe's going to run the camera. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Don Seaton. Thank you, Brian Biggie. Thank you, everybody, so much. We Behind the scenes. I'm the producer, I guess. I never really knew that. Ooh. So we're going to start painting. We're going to talk about Christine a little. So she's in, she works at the Hillstead. I do. And what's that like? Oh, dreamy. <laughs> it is? Yes. Do you get to I, go through the mansion all the time? Um, well, I have to work there, yep. but um, I do go through for inspiration. Um, sometimes on Mondays when we are not closed for, uh, when we are closed to the public inside the house, um, I will go sit down and just talk to Monet for a little while and I have my pick of four. So oh, yeah, they do that's have four. kind of a big you know, it's like, well, which one Monet do I want to? I wonder if you like be the, the by same today. one I do. What's your favorite Monet? Oh, it depends the one with on the my pink mood. Line? The one with the pink line is my favorite. The boat. Oh, I think it's in some oh. sort of living room. Yes, so that's in the morning room, and I that's... I love that painting. It's so got a big pink line in it. It's so gorgeous. I like that one. It's like almost like a um, modern day Thomas Kincaid, because the light, if you're in there in the morning versus the night versus um, a cloudy day, a sunny day. 
the tone of the sky and the ocean changes throughout the entire day. And the light in the room changes, oh. the painting changes. So the painting changes. Have you, have you seen those Thomas Kincaids where they'll have, um, you know, the, when you turn your lights down, suddenly it glows. Oh yeah, I did notice yeah, that. Yeah, so yep. he has that technique. And I think, not that like that's what Monet, Monet was trying to do. That's but so it, cool. It could be a sunrise or a sunset painting depending on when you look at it. It's pretty incredible. And what other Monets do they have in there? I don't even know. They have um, grain stacks and white oh, sunlight. Oh, two grain stacks, they right? They have two grain stacks. They have one from the series of 25 grain stack paintings um, that recently, that I believe only eight are in private hands um, to this day. Really? Yeah, oh, I of the 25. That. It's a series that he did uh, through a two year period. I think it was 1890 to 91. And um, they have one of those and a, another one that was up for auction in April just went for $110 million. Oh my God. From that what you, series. What do you think Theodate Pope paid for one of those? Nothing. Her dad bought it. Oh, he did? <laughs> for yeah. a lot? Yeah. She was traveling with him on a European tour. Oh, oh for a lot. No, relative today's standards no because it was kind of like um, just starting off the impressionist it was kind of like rock and roll in the 60s where yep. everyone was kind of like yeah it's not gonna stick it won't stick it's not gonna take off it's yep. not that creative it's not that interesting oh it'll go away we're not gonna take it seriously and then here we are you know and what did the every rates, calendar checkbook every single magnet thing. Monet's everywhere what about I know I'm hitting my mic I'm trying not to Ooh, um, yeah sorry. it's like it's, it's mine it's probably me so um, wow that must be fun working there and how long it have you is. worked there for um, I've been the marketing director for the past year really yep it's almost yeah almost That's exactly so a year oh my gosh Snuck I love everybody me. there is Cindy still there Cindy I forgot her name she's not I think she nope. was in my position so. oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. and I remember her. I'm also doing the sunken garden poetry festival which is why I'm so excited to be painting Michael Jackson because I consider him a, a very influential poet. I love Michael Jackson. If you ask me. I love all the Jacksons. I think they're so talented. Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, and they didn't get into much trouble, really. You know, everybody has controversy things over that thing, but those kids were uh, amazing, amazing. I love Janet Jackson. I think she just had a kid. Oh, she did? Right? I think she's like, like two just? years old. Maybe like two years old. Come on. It's crazy, but she's kind of private. You know how people are private with their kids sometimes? I was. Now I'm like, oh shoot, I didn't put my kids on Facebook at all, and now there's no pictures of them or videos. I have a son that asks me when, get out the camera, mommy. Where, aren't you going to take a picture? You know? But it's so not used like to everybody fans, else. But yeah. Yeah, I just didn't do it. And I was like, you know what, I don't want everybody seeing them. And then now I'm kind of mad because now all my friends on Facebook, they can put up videos of their kid walking for the first time, talking for the first Aww. time. I have nothing. Well, so that's, that's the time, too. You didn't carry a um, That was different. I'm old. Phone around all the time. That's the only reason you have those videos. Nobody was carrying video cameras around. It's only because of the convenience. Yeah, it is. It's the phone. Cell phones, It's yeah. everywhere. It's everywhere. So That's I'll just like, show Christine where I'm at. I'm going slow. I love it. Okay, I'm really going slow because I am talking. Perfect. That's I think good. I, I'm really trying to work this into like We're a trying two, to go. two session. Um, yeah. My Michael Jackson focus. So I do have to admit, and you didn't know this when you chose Michael Jackson for me, that when I was in college, I had, I don't know if you had a record collection of any sort, but I I'm had. A thriller. Okay, so you know how Thriller was two. It opened up to oh, the yeah. centerfold. Yep. So, so for those of you young children out there who don't know what albums were, large ones, and this one had a whole front side that opened, so oh, it was yeah, like it double wide, and you could stand it up, and it had Michael Jackson laid out like this white jacket oh, I remember with that. a tiger. <laughs> Like a white tiger, a white Siberian, tiger. a white Siberian tiger. Yes. Oh my gosh. And that is probably I, his pet. I had a fireplace in college that didn't work. So I put that album and then I put like all candles around it and Christmas <laughs> lights. So I almost had like a Michael Jackson shrine. Oh, I in love there, which that. Which wasn't what I was trying to do, but it turned out to look like one. And I was like, well, that's fine because I do absolutely adore him. So. And how about in Boston? Kind of Where was your apartment? I Waltham. lived all over. Waltham's yes. nice. Yep, yep. Yep. It was neighborhoodish and along the river, and by an old clock museum. Oh, that's nice. Waltham's so really nice romantic. now. Yeah. That's so nice. Yeah, I rented a little room, 
It was cool. And did you work in Boston too, or just no? Go? Yeah, no, no. I no. was. It, it was a forty-hour-a-week, ten-month program. Oh my gosh! So that's great. that was a lot of work. And itself. then, do you think it matters what kind of camera you have, like when you're shooting? No. Nope. Um, no. Do you ever shoot with your phone for professional stuff, or not really? Um. Yeah. Well, I. Uh, you can. I mean, you could, sure, but they don't. They don't. <laughs> they don't want to see you show up with your phone. <laughs> <laughs> They're like so you have like a yeah, Nikon, like all the fancy ones. I am a ones. Nikon, Nikon user, correct? Yeah. Yep, I'm definitely um, a fan of both, though. I think Canon has some pretty beautiful glass, and they get some very rich, gorgeous colors in the there. Nikon. And the lens is more expensive than the camera, or the camera is more expensive than the lens? Oh, it depends on the lens. It does. Uh huh. So that um, could be a Christmas present right there. Oh well, so, well the the lens though. Um, your your kind of workhorse lenses are going to probably be around a two thousand dollar mark. Really? Gosh, and you don't I didn't know buy that. another one. But the camera body can be five thousand, and you need a new one every year, every two years. So it's a lot more expensive. And how big is the camera? Like this? No, they're they're not like medium format. I just mean like your normal digital single lens SLR, single lens reflex camera. Gosh. And then your studio is in Farmington, am I right? I'm on Main Street. Yay! Right near where I was until the. Town planning and zoning. Oh, Sold it. We're not getting political here. <laughs> no, we don't care. Had to be a building. Oh, Plus, building I didn't really make a lot. Totally different. I had didn't so know much where fun. we were going with that one. You know, the thing is, is uh, people aren't walking around buying art in Farmington. Like, you have to go to a resort. Like, if I yeah. retire, I will definitely move to like Palm Springs, Miami, somewhere where people are like, oh, honey, let's buy some art after we have 500 drinks. And decide on. You got to be painting. on a Rodeo Drive where they're coming out of. Yeah, lunch. Rodeo Drive, there right? Yeah, exactly. I was in Collinsville for a while, and I actually did have some people wander in from, you know, it's an artsy place. in the wine bar and buy some art now and then, which was like I was shocked. And isn't Francesca's now another restaurant, or is it the same? Yes, it is. Right? It is another restaurant, correct? That's a great little spot. It's been a few places. La Salle's always been a favorite place oh, of mine. Oh man, is that delicious? Isn't it so fun? They have yes. all their like sport. They have, Bikers come in and everything. I was gonna go. Um, do you, you know Kripalu in this in Stockbridge? The Kripalu, it's like a meditative kind of retreat center institute. Like yoga? Yes, really? sure. Like all kinds of things. Yes. And you so went? No, you don't know Kripalu. Just no, by I don't. I, can tell. I don't exercise. Um, just oh, walk. It's, no, it's definitely it's more meditation. Oh, it is. And mindfulness, not not physical. It's more mental kind of retreat center. And it's fun. Well, I was supposed to go for the first time this weekend for an intention setting retreat. And then I didn't end it, they ended up canceling it. So now I feel all like goalless and, and you know, rudderless, like I have no direction. I know it's still early in January. Yeah, I'm I like, know. Man, when am I going to plan my life? I'm do all, you I'm do all uh, yoga and work out and stuff like that or not really? Yeah, no. Oh, you do? I don't no, do anything. No, I don't. I just walk. But all my I, friends run, they all run, and I try to take pictures of them while they're running to say, this does not look good. I'm but, hyperactive. Uh, they do look good. Yeah, That's I am too. That's been working for me for a good Terrible. few decades. <laughs> me too. Isn't that so <laughs> funny? I don't usually sit for this long. What That's about my your, exercise. What about your kid? Is he like, my kids are pretty well so we're always walking. Oh, oh, <laughs> I love man. it. No, he it's has, so fun. he comes from two parents that don't stop. Sa stop, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. No. Nope. It's so much fun. You got stuff oh to God. do, you know? Yeah. So, so talk to me about your brush strokes here. Are you doing, are you texturizing? Are you, so I'm kind you of just technique? Are you wide? Are you? Sometimes when you use too much water, it'll drip. So you want to watch out for that. But I was going to do it without water tonight. And because we're doing them at school, but I forgot we're using paper at school. They don't oh, get so canvas. Oh, so it's going to be a totally different. Yeah. So it's a little bit different. And these canvas are from the OS, o OS JL collection. I love it there. Oh, Ocean what is, State Job oh, I love that uh, don't place you too. Don't you love it? Oh, and the um, easels. You can get everything such nice you can get there. There too. I just bought a. I needed a new fireplace thingy that goes in front uh -huh. of the fireplace. Pool and I went supplies, in. Fire, everything. Patio. You name yeah. it. Yeah. And then the lady's like, "Oh, this was forty dollars, and you just won yourself a crazy gift deal for forty dollars." I'm like, "Wait a minute! I just spent forty dollars, and now I get forty back." I don't know how it's they make so money. Cool. We had a huge discussion on Christmas about that. Yeah. Like, how it's do they make money? Like, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's crazy. How is that possible? And basically, if you're doing these silhouettes, uh, you know, to people that really hate sketching, these uh, opaque projectors are fabulous. Or a smart board, if you now, have one. Now, what's an opaque projector? Talk so it's to me so it was it was it was uh, it was invented. It's called a uh, camera obscura. That was back in the late 17, early. I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. Everybody knows that. But uh, it was invented a long time ago. Yeah, and we don't need numbers. Yeah. Old. 
it's old. So basically, it's just like your television. That's why televisions are so cheap now. So you get this huge, big screen TV, but really, it's it's a camera obscura in the inside. So the, which means what? Which means it's a mirror that points to the um, the production or whatever you're watching, and then it blasts it and makes it bigger. So it's basically like and a large. mirror. Yeah, so if you broke your television in half, the main part of your computer and your television is gonna be very small. So I think that's why TVs are super, super uh, cheap now. My husband just got me one for Christmas and it was $150 and it's huge. You know, it was like, oh my gosh, that was like great, I love it. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of great technology, but I'll just, I, I think it's so great how cheap everything is now, except for the kids' stuff. Their stuff is all expensive. You know, my daughter got a pen for Christmas, and the pen has a camera on it, so she can bring oh, it to school, yeah, and spy, spy on people. Oh, Watch out, teachers. That is what it's made for. <laughs> it's so fun. If that's the first thing that came out both of our mouths. I can't believe it. <laughs> and then what does your kid like to play on computers? My kid's all about basketball, that's it. Oh, well, Does he, he like Fortnite? He's not even allowed to touch that uh -huh. stuff. If he has Good played that, I don't know how he found <laughs> it. Um, I have no idea, but he Auntie definitely somebody. wants you. Well, maybe. maybe. But I think it's more like school lets him play in the after school a little bit, but I don't think stuff like that. But you know what he's into? Chess and Monopoly. Really? You said oh, that earlier. Yeah. He it does not fool around. That's great. He wanted to come tonight to see this whole rigmarole. I mean, this is very exciting. We love it here at Nutmeg. Uh, no, we this is it. super exciting. I majored in television theater production for like five minutes in college. I had a number of majors because I have a lot of like you did ADD it interests going on. I always have. So I switched around a little bit here and there. And I was telling him how great it is. So I've done stuff like this before. And he chose to play Monopoly instead of coming and seeing a television studio tonight. So that's And who does serious. he play with? Anybody? Or Grandpa he... Pettit. Oh, he does. Grandpa is the formidable lets him win. I'll, you know, I, that's not how mom and dad play. Does your guy buy everything he can every time oh, he yeah. lands on something? Oh, I, I love I Monopoly. I heard him talking to uh, my husband the other day in the other room. And he says, uh, I, or, or I think Bill was on the phone or something. And I don't know what it was exactly he was talking about. I was kind of in and out of the, the, you know, doing my hair or something. And, and I hear my six-year-old in the corner, like a month just turned six. He's basically five in my head still. And he says, So he's a Christmas baby. Uh, uh, no, like, like Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh. And he goes, Daddy, you just have to mortgage like one property and you'll That's be what five. He said. And I was like, who That's is so this funny. Kid, you know? Yeah. So Grandpa so loves to play with them. That's so sets, fun. Yeah. Lots of cards. What about Grandma? Does she play all that stuff too? Yeah, I think so. I think it's like a, a so collective. Fun. I love yep. it. Yeah, we don't do a lot of board games with the kids anymore. I used to like Scrabble, but oh, now you yeah. know. Now you can spell anything however you want, so it's not that fun anymore. Oh, I dominated. With so Scrabble. he likes chess too. That's crazy. Yeah. And he's like whooping people's tails. That's too. so fun. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. So he's I got playing my Monopoly. Same six moves from when I learned when I was eight. So I like, do like Monopoly though. I mean, that's one of the good ones. There's too many board yeah. games out there now. It is a nice one. That's fun. I love hey, it. I, I gotta ask quick since I didn't do the tracing on this. Yep. I'm being honest. Am yes. I like painting a tear on Michael Jackson's face here? Like, is I that think a, it sad, is. a sad Michael? I think it's either a dreadlock or something coming down. I don't think he ever had dreadlocks, but he had like Just gonna say, little I don't nippy think he nips. Had dreadlocks. nips, they call them, I think. My little kids at school tell me. Yeah, dreadlocks They're so fun. take a while. I liked dreadlocks. I, I had them. My hair's naturally curly, and I No, went, it is? I did a few. I did You're a, kidding, it's curly? Oh, I got a little hippy-dippy in high school there for a while. It was not easy to, I didn't have to cut them out, luckily. Yeah, I, I did. I didn't go long enough with it, but uh, yeah, I oh, tried the that's so dress. fun. Well, you know what, it makes my hair bigger and I don't like flat, so yeah, my hair is so flat that I don't need a flat iron, that's oh, for sure. Oh man, I, it takes me days for mine to calm down. But I've gotta go back wow. to the gallery because, uh, do you ever go to the gallery for hair? Oh, in Farmington, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, Gino, he's great. We've got five minutes. Maybe we can do another episode. We're gonna try to. This is so fun. And then we'll go out afterwards. We can't wait. Oh, I 100% can stretch. We have only five minutes yeah. for this see episode. see how fast it goes? See, we just talk the yeah. whole time, and then we're like, what, five minutes? That's crazy, but 24 minutes goes by so fast. And it's not even a paint and sip. It's just paint. This just is, paint. We're doing pretty well. Yeah, I don't know how those paint and sip places are gonna do. I was gonna open one because my friend was like, Dawn, you'll make so much money if you open one, one of these paint things. And my husband was like, you know what? That's gonna go away, 
and you're going to be stuck with rent and nothing to do. And I was like, really? They're still around, though. I mean, you got yeah, they paint. are. I think it's more for HR. Do you ever go with the um, Hillstead group just to kind of let loose? Oh, corporate-y stuff. No, you know, we're so loose. Everybody just gets along kidding. there. We're not. Do you know Dave Purbeck? Oh, man. Oh, don't you love him? He celebrated his 25th year. Oh, my at gosh. Hillstead really? Grounds and crew operations. He's amazing. And Man, he makes that place happen. He's great. He, he uh, like, uh, I love him. And they live in the little white house in the front, yeah, which is fun. Yeah, it works with all the sheets. Don't you love it? And his wife might come up on the show and talk about bodybuilding, which I would love. Oh, she's good. I can't even believe it. I would yeah, never want to do that. Boy, the dedication. I can't believe it. It's like she's working out all the time. And then people are on this keto diet. I don't know what the heck that is. I think people just eat vegetables and fruit, and that's it. It's when you eat. It is? Yeah, it's a number of things, but you're trying to put the body into a state of ketosis, which means you have, on some level, deprived it for a long period of time, and it's in starvation mode, basically. And then when you have a potato chip, you gain it, 10 pounds in a second. Yeah, I don't yeah, know that's what, what I'm the thinking. deal is, you know. Well, I work with this I'm lady. I'm not describing it very well. This lady at work, Please she's got this gigantic comments. gallon of water, and she has to drink the whole gallon. It, it, it has little marks on it. It says, you're almost there. You're almost at noon. And she drinks the entire gallon by 9 o'clock at night. She usually wow. finishes early. Again. And I'm like, what's that for? She's like, oh, it, it makes you lose weight. you got to drink water. And I'm like, oh, OK. i got to get rid of the Diet Coke then. That's not going to work. No, forget that it. That is a all day long. Show me the data. I've that never seen rumor. anybody just please, drink water and lose weight. Please tell me no. how something that free would not have caught on. <laughs> I know, right? Just drink the water. I know. It's crazy. No. But everybody's all into it. Not buying it. We all weigh in. I don't do it. I don't, I don't even no, have a scale. No. I can't do it. I don't want a scale in my house. No, thank you. So we're just painting along. We'll probably go into episode two. We're going to have a blast. And we probably have two minutes left. So uh, we are just going to roll right into the other uh, segment. And we're going to have a ball. And I'm so glad to have Christine on because, you know, it's just so fun to have guests. It's just so great. And we have a lot in common that we didn't even know about. Yeah, this uh, is it's fun. It's crazy. I can't believe you lived in Waltham. I can't believe you randomly so invited me to paint the show when you it. never knew if I could paint or not. No, and then you were like, I, uh, I have a degree Actually, and all that. I'm I... like, okay. <laughs> So um, what's your favorite thing to film? Because she's a photo professional photographer uh -huh. and uh, runs that, too. So she's got basically two jobs. What's your favorite thing to shoot? Portraits? Oh. Um, Christmas stuff with kids? Birds. Oh, really? <laughs> like Joe? Yeah. Really? Oh, really. Yeah. I like being outside. I like being alone. I like getting sort of a meditative approach to photography and doing, like in school, they were always like, if you want to take pictures of uh, sunsets or cats, oh, just quit like now. Because yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. it better be the best picture of a sunset anyone's ever seen. You know? So what's the So it's tough oh, it's... to do that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, art photography, it's like, it's just a... And what about people when they need a professional profile? Do they get mad? Like, oh, make me blonde or make me thinner like oh, everybody does? No, I do, you know, so my, professionally I do more corporate, um, I do, I'll do headshots and then I do um, events and, and things like that. So I like the challenge of, um, I, I, uh, executives are fun because they don't want to spend more than 10 to 15 seconds on it because they don't care, they're out of there, they're busy. And then to get a relaxed photo in that time period is so interesting to me. To the challenge of getting this person to actually like a picture that they don't want to take. Right, because they just want to get back to work. And they're not interested in being bossed around either because they run the place. Yeah, that's hard it too. It is very fun. That oh, to me so is very fun. challenging. So yeah, so it's not just like click, click headshots. It's like, can I read this guy in 10 seconds and get, take a picture? He's going to be like, hey, that's me. And I think I, that's fun. And yes, I can, which I think is that's the fun great. part. Yeah, so. That is fun. I yeah, like that. that's the challenge. So we have 15 seconds left. We're so quick. We're going to be out of here in five. And um, Christine and I are just going to blab along like I usually do. I love having her on here. It's so fun. And I'm in a good angle here because I get this view. Um, so we're just going to roll into the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to the Crack of Dawn Inside Edition. Thanks for watching. Bridget Gleason, all of you guys down there, thanks for uh, putting us in the green room every now and then. We love Say it. Say goodbye to Michael. And then Michael's going to be back. Uh, little Nas X is good. And um, it's hard to pick people uh, to focus on. Bye! <laughs> Perfect, Joe.